highlights WA Prime Minister Mark McGowan and former New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern addressed burnout in their resignation speeches. One expert says that those who work in high stress and high performance environments are typically more vulnerable to burnout. Taking a vacation may not be the simple burnout solution some think. What do the resignations of Western Australian Prime Minister Mark McGowan and former New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern have in common? Both stated that burnout was driving their decision to resign. While searching for the duration of his nearly 30-year career in politics, including six prime ministerships, Mr McGowan was asked how burnout had affected his life. The outgoing leader said it manifested as sleepless nights and excessive worry about things. Ms Arden didn't directly refer to burnout when she resigned in January, but said she no longer had enough in storage. A comment widely interpreted by the media as implying that and, according to one expert, an emotion is typically associated. It's not just those in politics who experience burnout. The insidious issue can affect many across industries, but there are ways to manage it. What is burnout? According to the World Health Organization 2019 definition, it is an occupational phenomenon, not a medical condition. WHO says it typically manifests as exhaustion, negative feelings, and low professional productivity towards one's job, a characterization also given by the experts SBS News spoke to. Simply put, it's mental, physical emotional exhaustion, a fatigue often brought on by relentless overwork, said Philippa Specker, a doctoral candidate and clinical psychologist in the Refugee Trauma Recovery Program at the University of NSW School of Psychology. So a good way to think about it might be that your fuel tank has been empty for a long period of time, not just one day, he said. Dr. Specker said burnout is a bit chameleon-like because it can manifest in so many different ways. Tension headaches may seem like a lot of fatigue. You may be getting sick much more often than people around you, she said. There may also be a decline in your emotional health, so over time may find that you develop a negative outlook, feeling cynical towards your job or the people work for. You may also feel less satisfied and less motivated in your job and have feelings of neutrality. Others may realize you're experiencing burnout before you do, said Michael Musker, a senior research fellow at the South Australian Health and Medical Research Institute. People will start noticing this and saying if you're overdoing it or you look tired, Musker said. It begins to be noticed in your personal life. Who is prone to burnout? A 2021 study conducted during the COVID-19 pandemic by global consulting firm McKinsey and company found that 61% of Australians who responded sometimes felt exhausted. Dr. Specker said that those working in high stress, 